I pledge allegiance to my right shoulder here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> I would be uh, remorsed if we didn't uh, thank everybody that first responders and everything for 9-11 yesterday. Every meeting that I know I have today, I'll be making note of that. And also that uh, the winning quarterback of New England Patriots was a former Northern, was a former Eastern Illinois graduate, right. same as Mayor Roger, Dr. Roger C. Clare. They had a couple classes together. They did. <laughs> so, with that, we'll move right on to roll call. Bowling Rock. Yes. Homer Glenn. Yes. Lamont. Here. Romeoville. Here. Woodridge. Here. All right. Uh, next on the agenda is the approval of minutes for the June 13th, 2016 <coughs> minute, minutes. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Made by Homer Glenn. Second. Second by Bolingbrook. I can never remember a minute. Can we, is it a voice vote or is that a voice. roll call? That's what I thought. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, next is the approval of the agenda. We need a motion to approve. Motion. Made by uh, Romeoville. Second. Second by Woodridge. Any questions, comments, concerns? With none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? None. All right. Next, we are going to do the approval of bills, which is Exhibit A, uh, Tressler in amount of $111,332.62, Robbins Schwartz for $4,500, Sickich for $2,780, uh, and Pulse <coughs> Door for $7,709 for a total of $126,000. $321.62. I need a motion to approve. So. Made by Woodridge. Second. Second by Homer Glenn. Any comments, questions, or concerns? <coughs> With none, roll call, please. Bowling Brook. Yes. Homer Glenn. Yes. Lamont. Yes. Bolingville. Yes. Woodridge. Yes. All eyes. Motion approves. Uh, next is our action items, and we need a motion to accept and ratify the fiscal year 2015 annual financial report. So moved. Made by Woodridge. Second. Second by Homer Glenn. Um, do we need to, is there any count? I think the, uh, the audit was distributed. Um, most notably, there were no issues um, identified by the auditor. Um, there were no difficulties encountered in performing the audit. There was no disagreements with management or management representations. Um, so in terms of a audit, it is a clean audit, and I'm happy to say that. Any questions, just let me know. And in the packet is the management letter along with the 2015 annual financial report that was filed with the state comptroller. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Jim. Any other questions? With none, roll call. Bolingbrook. Yes. Homer Glenn. Aye. Lamont. Yes. Romeoville. Yes. Woodridge. Yes. All eyes. Thank you. Motion approves. Motion to approve the resolution 16 011 uh, regarding prevailing wage. So moved. Made by Homer Glenn. Excuse me, made by Woodridge. Second. Second by Homer Glenn. Yeah, um, even though we have no public works projects, um, the state said that we were still obligated to pass the prevailing wage ordinance. So it will be filed, but uh, we don't anticipate that there will be any uh, labor contracts that are um, released by the agency this year. Okay. Thank you, Jim. Um, any other questions? Roll call. Bolingbrook. Yes. Homer Glenn. Yes. Lamont. Yes. Romeoville. Yes. Woodridge. Yes. All eyes. <coughs> Motion approves. Uh, next on the agenda is a consultant's report for the Illinois American Water Company rate increase, the public hearing request. Yes. Uh, at our last meeting, uh, the board directed me to um, 
request a public hearing with the Illinois Commerce Commission regarding the pending Illinois American Water rate increase. Um, all the correspondence is in the packet. Uh, we did request it. It was denied. We did appeal um, from the staff to the commission. That was denied. They denied, the ICC has denied Champaign, Urbana, South Beloit, Savoy, St. Joe, uh, Philo and Sydney, and then our five communities. So they have across the board denied all requests for a public hearing regarding the pending rate increase. What's the purpose of this, Jim? I mean, what, why are they, what, what do they get out of this? Like, you know, the eye of this? Well, all, there's all agencies. They initially said they had no budget. If you recall, we then said we would pay. Sure. They responded saying that that was unacceptable because of the uh, domain of their budget is totally controlled by the state legislature. They have no ability to accept other funds. So um, their position has been that through filing of uh, comments as well as the Attorney General and the Citizen Utility Board that all of the communities are adequately represented. Maybe they don't want to be confused on the facts. <laughs> Since our kids. <laughs> well, you know, George and I talked early on when this rating, proposed rating first, first came out about having a hearing. And I talked to Jimmy and a couple others, and we decided strategically to probably be better we get closer to the, you know, the date, so it be timely. Uh, I was, I don't know, maybe I'm just naive, but I was stunned when they rejected the public hearing. And then they heard the other community and turned down a public hearing. And then he used the cost as a reason. And we said, okay, we'll pay the cost. Well, then you have to come up with another reason. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a sad state of affairs when a company like this that represents so many municipalities across the Illinois. You know, proposed rate increase. There's no public hearing. You know, ICC just goes to the rule, cuts their deal, and they announce it. Back in the day, the been around a long time, but frankly, I'm not so sure I've ever seen the Cubs that's been accomplished. And that's what we have to rely upon their records. I don't necessarily know any major deals that they've saved or covered. Uh, so it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I guess we can have our own, but it would be just disconfirming what we all think.
problem that we will wait until we find out when they can plan to sit down with them. I'll get an email out this afternoon. Right. Would they give it at least a month in advance though? The only thing is, if, the, if it's going to be in a week or two, trying to get everyone together on a night or two, the two days are going to the most of uh, the, yeah, there's a rate finding uh, uh, process they have to follow through after um, the IGC staff and CUF submit their uh, reports. Did you invite Aaron Water? Is it open here? Yeah, it was. Is it turned down? For what? Take a turn us down. Just get out. Thank you. Just say, hey, we invite him to be here now. Oh, that yeah, that's great. I'm sure they say, you know, you're right. I mean, I mean, they'll be there anyway. I mean, they got their followers, and they'll come there and do it, right? I'm we'll sorry, we have a little trouble hearing because there's a terrible window. I'm sorry, would you ask me? Well, we were just told that all Americans agreed to uh, roll back all the rates. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll pass that along. Okay. But I think, you know, if we put, Use the internet, Facebook, uh, some ads in the paper. We have no paper coverage at all anymore. We don't need it. That's, that's, that's the saddest part about this. You know, everybody's crying for. I know that. I know that. I know that. Well, no, I mean, it's true that we have nobody coming to our paper anymore. It means they want to occasionally get a phone call. But everything we passed, and there's been some pretty heavy stuff. Don't even question. And I actually, I wish we did have some coverage on some of this because sometimes we want to get out there. I mean, the Tribune's not even here anymore. You know. Jeff was all hot and heavy for, for two years, wanting to beat on us, you know, every step of the way. And we didn't even get coverage from the Tribune anymore. I mean, media as a, as a whole, okay, I'm going on a tangent, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. But I mean, it is, it's, it's ridiculous. Our, our patch reporter handles 14 other cities. Unless it's, you know, earth shattering, which Vermont doesn't, you know, we don't get anything. I don't know, is Woodridge the same way anymore? I mean, is there? Yeah, no. I mean, it's, but then everybody's screaming for transparency, so we're doing, you know, so we're, I mean, we're even streaming our meetings now. We're streaming our meetings, we're video, we, we replay them, we do all the things, I know, I mean, we do all the things that we try to do to make the information available to whoever wants it. But until it affects somebody, which it really affects the people in Homer Glen, like, you know, like you were saying before, Mayor, I, I don't disagree. I think there's, there's some validity to it, and if we can make the, the, uh, the statement and make it as loud as possible and say this is important to hardworking, you know, individuals and seniors. I think there's some, and then get it sent down to Springfield and get, have, you know, Redonio, have Dirk and have all the people that represent, you know, the individuals here and listen to them saying, this is real stuff here, folks. You have, you have seniors that are not flushing your toilet because of the cost. That's, <coughs> that's real. You know, that, 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 it actually physically upset me when you told me that. So that's ridiculous. So I, I'm, I'm behind it 100 percent, even just to show your residents and your residents we're trying to do something, you know, and make a statement that way. So and we can get the home horizon to pick it up. I don't know if they would share it with the other papers, but I know I could get the home horizon to pick it up. Well, I think if we make an extraordinary effort, we could probably get this one in, uh, especially if it's a prepared statement. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd, I'd like to be able to even do some emails to our residents. Somebody have email program is now set up for your residents. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have that yet, but we have, certainly have, like you said, the past, the patch of the notice the patch of says murder, two rapes, and firing crash kills three. <coughs> and it's the bowling group patch. So initially it mm -hmm. you go down and read it. There are communities 10, 15 miles away. Because they just rolled everything into one newspaper, quote newspaper. Mm -hmm. But um, I think we could get it out there. Uh, especially if we get even a week, 10 days notice with uh, the internet today, we could make some headway. Yeah. So why don't you find out when... Uh, yeah, we'll find out the schedule on the rate making case. Where would you suggest we have it? Well, we do have the highest rates here, so yeah, I would say this would be a perfect place. I just where, where at though? <laughs> we, well, we could either do it inside here or we can run the schools. That would well, I'd like to think we more than kill this Bob. Right, you want it to be a venue that you can, that's big enough, but not, not too big. Yeah, right, yeah. Where it All right. Well, the place with plenty of parking, so, yeah, in we'll, case the weather's raining. Yeah, we'll have all that. This is, this, 
out in front should be done today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So that won't be an issue. We've got the library right next door, the township right next door that's we had parking. What's the biggest room of any of them? In here? Well, this. What's this hold, you know? You know? Um, I'd have to check on the applicants. Worst comes to worst, we'll see if we can do it at the high school because that holds more and it would be closer for all of you. Uh, I know we can get 33C. That's probably 200 people. Right. We probably want to have a room five or six hundred. Mm -hmm. Then if that's the case, then we have to go to the high school and make a phone call today. So that'd be up to you guys, whether you guys can get five or six hundred people. Well, I understand. Uh, but I could be a lot of people. You want to turn people away. Right. Well, and you know, we don't want to sit down outside standing in line in the lobby. I'd rather have a room that's you know, a third empty than to have people standing outside, especially if it's a rainy, cold day, which right. well could be. The only problem I might have with the high school is I would need a date probably as soon as possible to see if we can lock something up because they they do a lot of things too. But I can call and find availability today and then I'll get back to you as much now. What night of the week would be a good night for something like this? Monday through Thursday? Yeah, I see one of those. Well, I, Mondays usually aren't real good because everyone's worn out from the weekend. Uh, <coughs> That's our board meeting nights. How about Thursday? Wednesday's our board meeting nights. Yeah, how about Thursday night? Tuesday, Thursday. Well, you could actually have it, you wouldn't even have time at night. You could have it starting like 6 o'clock. Yeah. People come home from work and go right to the area. I think you might even have a better shot at that than to wait till 8 o'clock. People feel interested in <coughs> show up whenever we right. the so six, I, six and let it run until the last person wants to talk. Okay. All right, so right now it's 6 o'clock on a Thursday. If we can get a close date, <coughs> uh, I'll see what I can find out too. Okay. Yeah. And uh, lock, up, lock up the high school because then, like I said, that'd be the most important. Okay. Jim, do you have to have a 15-day public hearing notice requirement for this too? We won't because it's, it's not a formal public hearing. That's true, too. More of an informational type. Yeah. Okay. And I the whatever we send out announcing it should say we contact the ICC and ask for a hearing over this rate increase and put in there a blah, blah, blah. They were, we were denied on the basis they couldn't afford it. We then offered to pay for the expenses for the public hearing over this. They then said, no, it's not their jurisdiction and they want to. So now we're going to have our own public hearing in Farmer, so please come out and fill in on that line. Mm -hmm. Let them know. This should be first for yeah. Do we want a court recorder? For what? A court recorder for this? So there's more verbatim uh, that we can present? I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, based on the date, you know, to get the transcript from a court reporter to send to the ICC is going to take some time, too. So. I'm just thinking that it might, if, if it's not part of their public hearing, it might be something a little bit more official with. Yeah, with depending more on the date. I mean, if you can get it, great. If yeah. not, you're not going to it. doesn't make a lot of sense. But the budget can afford it. Yeah. Okay. That's what we find out about. Yeah, I'll get an email out to everyone. Good. Sounds good. All right. Um, our future meeting dates are December 12th in the great village of Lamont. After that, Romeoville, Woodridge, and Bolingbrook. Um, Mike, with that being said, just real quick, do you see any need, do you think there'll be any need to do any meetings before that or after that? Only if we lose the Travers. We expect a ruling on the Travers by the end of October. Okay, so we have to let you know. So that then we're going to be discussing that in executive session. Then. Okay. Um, thank you. Uh, questions for the audience? I did not receive any. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the hearing, I think we should make a particular attempt to notify any business customers we have in the system <coughs> who normally don't get caught up in public hearings or up in corporates located somewhere else. You know, people just push the bill to. Boston or whatever, that we make a special attempt to even get some of those represented because mm -hmm. they have to be noticing it too, especially the ones that are tend to use some of the water, like your mm -hmm. those guys. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, um, Otherwise, they, they wouldn't necessarily be the local publications to even know about it. The guys are not local. So, Wrigley Building, uh, yes. okay, so Wrigley, Matt, 
However, it's through 10 3 groups. Yep, okay. okay. Excellent. Um, anything else, sir? Okay. Uh, with that, I said, received no questions from the audience. I need a motion to go into executive session for the purpose of discussing pending litigation. So, okay, we'll get by Homer Glenn. Second, I'm still doing no public announcement, right? I didn't get to that part yet. Can I finish first? Oh, I'm sorry. Second by Bolingbrook. Jesus. Mr. Zimmerman, I see no need to come out for any additional uh, action <coughs> after the no, executive sir. session. <coughs> so there will be no uh, action taken after the executive session today for all those curious about it. Um, roll call, please. Bolingbrook. Yes. Homer Glenn. Yes. yes. Lamont. Yes. Romeo Mill? Oh, yes. Woodridge? Yes. All eyes. Thank you. Motion approves. We move to executive session.